The remains of 44 victims of the German wing's plane crash have arrived in Dusseldorf, where they will be returned to families for burial. Lufthansa sent the coffins by cargo plane on Tuesday night from Masse. Almer Giemula, a lawyer for some of the families, said the arrival of the remains would give relatives closure. Co-pilot Andreas Lubitz is believed to have intentionally flown the Airbus A320 into the French Alps in March, killing 150 people. 16 of the victims were from the Joseph Koenig Gymnasium School in Haltern and were returning from an exchange trip in Barcelona when the plane crashed. Families will be allowed to visit the coffins inside a hangar in Dusseldorf on Wednesday. The city of Busan is currently disinfecting all city buses and taxis in order to prevent the spread of MERS. City officials are also providing hand sanitizers in public facilities such as amusement parks and museums. In addition, the city has established quarantine facilities for taxis in four places, including Busan Station and Kimei International Airport. Fever detection devices are currently being used at Kimei as well as the Dopudong bus terminal. In Busan, there has been one confirmed case of MERS, with 41 people currently placed under quarantine at their homes and 27 people being closely monitored. Four people have recently been released from quarantine. As a precaution against MERS, the Busan Metropolitan City Office of Education has sent five elementary school students home yesterday because they were either showing MERS-like symptoms or have recently visited the hospital that the city's confirmed MERS patient was at. And some of these students were able to return to school today. An official from the Education Office said that the two of the five students have already returned to school while the other three are set to return by June 15th. The Education Office also also stated that requests for the closure of 11 schools have been approved with no further plans for school closures as of this morning. Due to ongoing fears about MERS, various local events have been delayed or cancelled. The first Sea Trade Cruise Asia 2015 event in Busan, which was originally scheduled to run from June 10th to 13th, was called off last evening. The Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering Conference in Tangwon, originally set to begin today, was also cancelled due to many international buyers expressing their will to not attend the event. The Busan Chamber of Commerce and Industry also delayed the Busan Busan Fukuoka CEO Forum scheduled for June 11th, while cancelling the Busan Economy Forum scheduled for June 17th. A Busan official said that the city will distribute 920 green PCs by the end of this year. The city has been promoting its Green PC of Love project in order to improve access to information on the Internet. The project involves distributing used computers donated from individuals as well as both public and private institutions to people with disabilities and to those in low-income groups. The city will also provide a free technical support for a year for those who receive these green PCs. The Pusa Metropolitan Office of Education has announced a contest for the naming of six new schools that are set to open next year. The new schools are located in Cheongwan New City, Myeongji Ocean City, and Myeongji International New Town. Submission forms are available on the websites of Heunde, Pukbu, and Pusa Metropolitan Offices of Education. The Dongnam Regional Statistics Office is carrying out economic research on 37,000 companies in Busan, Ulsan and Gyeongnam from today to July 14th. The research project aims to conduct research in nine different sectors, including types of businesses, numbers of employees and financial performances. Results from the research will be announced in November and will be used to guide government economic policies on job creation and tax revenue maximization.
Inde University College of Medicine has announced that it will host a variety of events on June 12 to commemorate the 36th anniversary of the school's foundation. The university was the late Catholic priest and physician Itesok's alma mater, and he was widely known for his charitable work in South Sudan. Items on display will include a stethoscope, blood pressure monitor, ultrasound monitor, medical textbook, and numerous medical records that Father E used during his charitable work. And now taking a look at the weather, skies are mostly clear at this hour here in Busan with cloudy skies expected later tonight. The daytime high will be 26 in Busan. The current temperature in Busan is 25 degrees Celsius. That wraps up this hour's news. Thank you for joining us. Now you're listening to Busan EFM.